She said I would never amount to anything because I didn't like school. Well, I didn't like school because my father died when I was 10 years old. And my dad used to take me to school and pick me up every day. And one day I woke up and my mother said, you gotta walk to the bus stop because your dad's back is hurting. So my father couldn't take me and I had to get on that bus. And my father wasn't there to pick me up. And two weeks later, I'm at a funeral. I was 10 years old, my father's funeral. So that lady, Miss Jenkins, who told me I never amount to anything, it just pissed me off. Because at this time, my father died, I was in sixth grade. And when she told me this, I was in 10th grade in high school. And you know what I said to Miss Jenkins? I said, Miss Jenkins, I don't need you to tell me that I need to pass your class be successful in life. All I need is to do is to believe in myself. One question that I always ask myself, even as I would always ask myself, is your purpose. What's your purpose for living? Do you know your purpose? What you're created to do? Do you know what that is? A lot of people live their entire lives not knowing. Entire lifetime not being happy. Because they feel as though they're not fulfilling their purpose. One time in my life I felt that. What was my purpose? And sometimes you graduate out of high school. You look for that job, you look for that career, college, the degree, you still question, is this my purpose? All I want to tell you, until you find the center of your being, you will continue to walk and live, going through the motions. I start seeing things a lot clearer. I start, my decisions are clear. I can hear things a lot clearer in my life. Directions and certain things that God wants me to do, it becomes clear to me. You were born special. You were born with a gift. You were born with being able to bring your own unique abilities and gift to this world and you have so much more to offer. So guys, I just encourage you to find and trust and believe in yourself and uh, never quit and never give up. And at the end of the day, know that there's something greater. God has a greater purpose for your life than you just going through the motion. God bless you guys. I love you. This is Kevin Laverne, and I look forward to seeing you.